Hey guys, this is the third episode of our podcast. Today our guest is Axel Mazella. We are going to talk about Nata Gear, uh, final dance of Hunter Fall Pro Tour in Mexico, how he trains at home and a lot of cool stuff. So tune in and hope you enjoy it. So we have a couple of questions for you. First of all, um, I know that when did, when did you start the kiteboarding in your life? Um, I'm beginning uh, kiteboarding when I uh, when I was uh, 12 years old. Okay. Uh, in France, in south of France. Okay. Uh, in uh, Lalmana Beach. Okay. Did you start with a freestyle or with the with the racing um, straight away? I started uh, just with a classic twin tip. Two point tip. Okay. Uh, and uh, 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 inflatable kites. Okay. And after I did my first competition uh, when I was 14 mm -hmm. in uh, in South of France at um, I don't remember it's um, no worries okay. like in Montpellier okay okay and in racing uh -huh. on uh, on the race board on the race board okay. yeah right in you know what I remember I remember back in the days when we still were all racing on the, on the race board and. You switch. You were you were one of the first who switched from the race boards into mm. the hydrofoil. Why? W what was the decision? Why? Why you, did you switch from uh, from the race boards completely to hydrofoil? Uh, so early compared it, to yeah. other guys. In 2013, 2014, uh -huh. it's uh, the beginning of switch race board to to foil ball. Uh -huh. uh, in France, uh, some guys like uh, Benjamin Petit, Nico Parier, okay. uh, uh, switch in the um, world uh, in, in the French Championships in, uh, uh, for hydrofoil, okay. like in, in uh, a race board. So mm -hmm. and we. We, we saw the performance of Hydrofold mm -hmm. and it's much uh, faster, better for upwind, downwind, everything. Okay. And after that, uh, I would like to test and when I test it, it's so, so good and I prefer to... to okay, yeah, forward. definitely. The Hydrofold is, is, is just so much faster than yeah, high yeah, performance sure. aspects. And then um, you said um, uh, Nico was also right one of the first ones yeah, to switch. Sure, yeah. and then, do you train together with Nika usually? Uh, now, yeah, with Nico. Uh, he live in in the west coast. Okay. And now he he, he come in the south of France mm -hmm. uh, in Montpellier, like me, for studies. Okay. So we we are in the same uh, same school, mm -hmm. uh, physiotherapy physiotherapy school. So okay. we 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 can train together. Uh -huh. um, for on the water and on the beach for running, biking, okay. everything. So okay, do you, do you know uh, why why he didn't come to this first event of the Hydrofoil Pro Tour? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know why. He, he can't uh, come here because he, he has some exam school. Okay, school uh, exams. Yeah, school exam at the end of this month. Okay. So. But that's... he but he's not quitting kite surfing. Is he? He's gonna race. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. For sure. That's good. You know um. We have this all the fast approaching the Olympic Games, and obviously, if if it's gonna happen, we're gonna have one design concept for the for the kite surfing. You as the rider, how do you feel about the one design, and what do you think um, overall? Uh, I believe I'm a bit afraid about that because okay. if uh, all the equipment is free freezing now, okay, and if we have one design now, I think. It's not a good idea because we can we can develop it and we can have a better kite and better okay. for uh, better equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's gonna be good for me to okay. using now. Yeah, and you see, um, is it? I think it's 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 happening already as they. They said that we cannot register any new equipment until 2020. Mm. So we're, we're gonna race for the next two years. We're gonna yeah, be racing on the old equipment. What do you think? Equipment. This you, you don't like it, right? Uh, or what? Yeah, um, I, yeah, yeah. If 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 we have same e equipment now for two years, uh, two years, I think yeah, it's gonna be good because we we can develop it. Uh, beside of, of our equipment, okay, um, and we will see after in 2009, 20, 20, 20, 20 is a new game. registration. Yes. So at at this date, I think we can 
we can propose a, a really good equipment for 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 the next. Uh, okay, so, so the thing is, it's not bad, and we you, yeah, we have yeah. like a break for the competition, but then all the the companies are still developing it, and then mm. they're gonna release yeah. all equipment once for the next two mm. three years, and there's gonna be like the official one, and but then the the, the professional teams are gonna be developing mm. the, the equipment, right? And for sure, we have a, a gold cap and hydro for two for test yes. some new equipment uh, prototype and everything so yeah. okay okay um uh the, this year and especially since last year 2017 um team Inata, it was it was there was no such team but then mm. since summer 2017 it, it arrived and then we have the the one of the top uh, foils and kites and you one of the writers of team Inata. can you tell us more about this brand um, what it goes and just just about this brand because it's it's relatively new compared to all other brands uh, Enata um, uh, Starting last uh, last year mm -hmm. at this competition um, And we would like to propose uh, one equipment one package with uh, five kites and one ball one foil mm -hmm. uh, the, the best equipment uh, if we can propose Okay. And uh, that's that's why we propose that for maybe Olympic Games if it's if it's come. Okay, so I'm right that Enata is is gonna is gonna propose um, itself like the, the its equipment as a package for the for yeah. the Olympic Committee to, to be yeah. considered as one design concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you if you buy the package, you can have foil bars, uh, board, okay, uh, kite, and um, also. Um, the gear with the wet uh, wetsuit harness. Uh, we, so everything, the wetsuit, the harness, yeah, yeah, the complete package. Mm. Okay, and then is it the, the company? Um, as intended, is this? It's based in Dubai, and uh, I've seen the pictures recently with you, and then with the huge boats and the foils. Yeah, yeah, the foils. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it's not is is a big, huge company with a yeah, with it's a, a, lots of resources. a big company. Okay, nice. Um, and then we here in beautiful Leventon, the first event of the Hydrofoil Pro Tour. Just, just tell a couple of words about this this place, and then how it's unique from all the different places, and how do you like it or don't you like it, and how this event in terms of the the, the whole Hydrofoil Pro Tour comes. Uh, here it's the first day of Hydrofoil Pro Tour. Uh -huh. uh, we did two race uh, today. Uh, in light wind, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, really strange because we have east wind like this. Yeah. Uh, it and the thermal wind uh, north north east. Okay. So it's gonna be really shifty like, uh -huh. like that. So, um, and when I like in Levantana, it's uh, because it's the first uh, stop of the first big stop of the Four Uh huh. So. Every, Every brand comes with a uh, new equipment, uh -huh. new new foil, and it's time to 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 test, to compare with uh, the other brands, and especially in Lavantana, I, I like it because the weather is super cool. Yeah, yeah. it's it's so warm here, and then yeah. it's yeah. nice. And usually, I think it's the wind today. The the wind that we got today, it wasn't really uh, the usual wind. Usually, no, it's, it's not the usual it's, wind. It's yeah. usually it's really strong yeah, wind. Yeah, um, Side shore with the, like strong eleven. I think, and then in, in, in the last two days of the competition, we're gonna get a good strong wind for eleven. And pretty much, I think this competition is gonna be all the sizes because today was light. Tomorrow is much a bit more strong, right? Yeah. And last two days is gonna be strong. Um, I saw the forecast, and maybe for tomorrow it's uh, similar like today. Okay. Because we have some clouds, so the thermal wind doesn't work. Okay. Uh, so we will see for tomorrow. But I think for for the next day, we can have a a, a good day with uh, with strong wind, okay. like a great day. Nice. And then you personally, what is your favorite wind? Do you like more light wind or like the strong wind with the waves, overpowered? Um, before, for sure, I prefer the the strong wind uh -huh. with big wave because I'm. Uh, I'm training in France in Southern France uh -huh. and we have a uh, so strong wind. Okay. Uh, but now with my new uh, new new gear with uh -huh. Enata in Dubai because I, I'm not uh -huh. of training in Dubai, uh, I prefer the light wind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Nice. And then um um I have a question about your home spot. It's Montpellier, right? Uh no, it's not Montpellier. It's uh uh more in east win yeah, in the uh, in the okay. east. It's um Almana. Do, do, do you train um, in the winter as well there? Because I think it, it it kind of cold in winter, is it? Yeah, in this winter it's super cold. We we have uh, uh, snow and okay. so it's not possible to okay. to train. Then that's why I prefer to to do studies. And okay. Just uh, we have we have one race in Abu Dhabi, mm -hmm. and it's for okay. me a good uh, good train. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it was Axel. Axel, do you wanna um, um, all the all the links, the 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 socials? The it's gonna be in description. Just follow him everywhere. It's gonna be and follow him. He's a great rider, one of the best in the world currently. And um, looking forward to for the. I'm personally also looking forward for the more races in the next couple of days. And good luck to you. Yes, thank you. Good luck. You're welcome.